it was a maths lesson to a year 10 class, middle set X4. Um, we're looking at solving simultaneous equations. Um, they're a grade C class, but there's some grade B. They've taken the foundation GCSE, so it was about stepping them up to a higher level. Um, we were looking at solving simultaneous equations. Previously, we'd looked at solving equations up to a grade C level. They only really needed the grade E stuff for this, but that's where I wanted to progress them to, and then to be able to solve the equations, the simultaneous equation. I'd be looking at um, using that to expressions to check the prerequisite, the solving equations, um, bit at the beginning, the linear equations, um, and then I'm going to use it throughout the lesson as a way of just getting to feed the answers into when they're doing all the working on the worksheet. I'm going to feed their answers into that expression so I can keep a, a running check of where they're up to on, on the, the questions and see who's struggling so I can go around and check who's there. And finally, as a bit of a check on whether they understood their objective so it will feed into the next lesson, I'll know who's at which stage, who's struggled on which questions, so help me plan those future lessons. Okay, there is some bell work on your sheet that you need to be getting started with straight away. You should not have an issue with it. On the sheet. Everything's on the sheet today, so you don't have to worry. So, a little bell work, just matching up the words. Really simple. Try and do the ones you know first. There should be two you know from the last lesson. Equation and expression, I'll do them first. A straight line. What do you think? Which one looks like a line? There. Yeah. Mm. So, should we try that one? and see if it works for the others. Makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, so look at the next one. Think which one makes sense. Remember, it's all about the words making sense. Okay? Yeah. Right, okay, should we all look this way? All you're doing there is matching some of the words that are going to be important for today, so don't worry if you don't understand them, because we can go over it and make sure you understand what we're going to do. This is what I want to do today. It's on the top of your booklet, so you can keep referring to it. I want to know how to solve linear equations. We've done that before. You should know how to do it. It's grade E to C. Some of the stuff we're doing today is grade E, right, beginning to make sure you can do it. So you should find the first bit really simple. But solving equations, you can go up to grade C. Able to solve simultaneous equations using elimination. That is something brand new to us, simultaneous equations. So it's going to lead in from that grade B. Not done many grade B topics, but we are capable of doing this. It's just one little step up. And the last bit is understand how to modify equations to allow for solving using elimination. Again, one small step what we've previously done, and we'll build it through the lesson. So hopefully you'll see you can progress from something that was grade E, something that's grade B, very quickly today. So, yeah. if it's together, is it times? It is well done. So that says 2 times Q equals 8. So how would you work out what Q is? What's the opposite of time? Five. Five. Yeah? You right with that? Good. It, what's 6 times 6? Um, 40. Four, six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty, thirty-six. <coughs> so six times six is thirty-six, isn't it? So we go do the opposite. If it's six times y equals thirty, to get rid of the six, we'll do the opposite on the other side, won't we? Mm -hmm. So y equals thirty. What's the opposite of times by six? Divide by six. Perfect. So thirty divided by six. It's five, is it? Brilliant. There you go. There's quite a few people now on level four. Get rid of that. Someone who's not here. Okay, so a few people now on level four, which is brilliant. You've got 30 seconds. Remember, really want to be getting over towards the level four questions because that's showing you can do two step equations. You're right, Hayden, you done them all? Yeah. Brilliant. You've got 20 seconds. You can help the person next to you if they're struggling. So 5k minus 15 equals 5. So we'll do the opposite. So what are you going to do the opposite? Man, add. So it'll be five. So you just twenty. Twenty. So then we'll have five k equals twenty. So what? What will you do then? You've got five k equals twenty. Brilliant. Right. Time's up. Okay. So if we have a very quick look at where we are, we have got most people, in fact everyone, past level two. So we can all get onto two-step equations, which is brilliant. Quite a few people have progressed past that. There's still some people who've just done one or two. So we might need a bit of practice, a bit of help when we get to that stage. But don't worry. Most of you have shown that you can do the solving equations that you're going to need today for simultaneous equations.